Hey, I'm Brianna, and I'm excited to show you how I transformed my bathroom for only $128. So before, this bathroom was plain and white and builder grade. We hadn't really touched it since we bought this house. So I decided first that I wanted to add some color to the windows. So I decided to paint the window trim only. I really wanted to get this project done in 48 hours, so doing the window trim added the most impact for the least amount of time. I had some leftover blue paint, so I decided to use that. It's perfect with the wall color that's already there. I have a few specialty brushes that I like to use in order to get into all of those little cracks and crevices in the trim. After only two coats, it was done and I got to peel off the tape. So satisfying. Next, I took some yellow paint that I had left over and decided to paint a plain white shade that I already had on hand. I tested out the different patterns I could possibly do ahead of time on a piece of paper just so I didn't ruin the actual shade when I went in. So I decided to go with these organic dash shapes. I really want these to vary a lot so it doesn't look like one regular pattern, which makes it really easy because if I mess up, it looks like I did it on purpose. Still, I started in a spot that I knew would most of the time be closed when I flipped this shade up. So it's looking good. This only took about 20 minutes. I love this yellow against the blue. So perfect. Let's see, I'm just gonna flip it up now. Done. Now I need to measure for two sets of shelves that I wanna put here. So I'm just going to measure and cut being very careful to be accurate because I'm going to add a backer and a front ledge. So everything should be as close as possible. Now I'm adding some pocket holes. This is a really easy way to join two boards. I decided to sand the boards before I started assembling the shelves so much easier to sand the flat sides rather than trying to sand around corners once things are assembled. Now I'm clamping the boards and adding the pocket screws. To attach the front lip of the shelf, I applied some DAP Weldwood Original Wood Glue. The recommended application for this product is with a glove or a silicone brush. I added a couple of pin nails to hold the lip in place as the glue dried. This glue is great for woodworking projects like this because it creates a really strong bond. It also sets fast and sands easily once dry. Plus, it's heat, water, and solvent resistant, non-toxic, and low VOC. To cover the nail holes and smooth out any unevenness, I applied DAP Plastic Wood X All-Purpose Wood Filler with Drydex Dry Time Indicator that is best applied with a glove or putty knife. I love this stuff because it goes on pink and dries white, so I know it's dry and ready for sanding. My patching will look completely seamless because it's stainable, paintable, and doesn't shrink or crack. This shelf will hold up well because the wood filler is super hard. Yet again, I'm using more leftover paint that I have. This was left over from a bedroom project, and I'm just gonna add a couple of coats of this really nice navy black paint. I think it'll add a really nice modern edge to the wall next to that softer blue and yellow. Now I'm just finding the studs and marking them. Drilling pilot holes into the studs is gonna help a whole lot once I go to install these shelves. I wanna make sure that I have two screws driving straight into the studs to keep this shelf secure. Next, I'm taking down the lamp. Obviously, I wanna be sure to turn off the electricity. Uh, this was a pretty easy swap though, and I just replaced it with a really modern black fixture instead of this more nickel farmhouse style that isn't really me. I love the look of Edison bulbs, so I decided to use those because the bulbs are exposed. Yay, it works. Okay, now to make some art. I'm just taking a really inexpensive frame that I bought at Target. And I printed out a photo of my dog. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take a glass pen and I'm gonna trace the outline of my dog. You just wanna keep these super simple, smooth and broad, just the general outlines, and it creates a really cool modern piece of line art.
I decided I didn't like those details, so they were really easy to wipe away with a Kleenex. All right, it's dry, so I'm gonna put everything back together. I have the marker facing in so it doesn't smudge. White piece of paper behind. Now's the fun part. I'm just gonna style it up with this vintage rug, another piece of art I made, and some really cool decor pieces that I just had hanging around the house. And it's done. I absolutely love how this bathroom came out. Before it was really boring and white and blah, which is not me at all. And now it just feels really fresh and modern with that color. I just, I'm so happy. And it really, it was so inexpensive. Now I had a lot of these materials on hand and they're pretty common materials. If you don't happen to have those on hand, this bathroom still would only cost you $198 to do. These shelves are really helpful because I can hold some more functional items like extra toilet paper, but I do like the opportunity that they give this small bathroom for like some styling and some personality. And that blue just makes such a big difference without having to paint a whole wall. This inexpensive shade looks really cool painted. I'm so happy with how that came out. Now this just feels so much more like us. And since really this is the bathroom that we use the most and our guests use the most because it's on the main floor, it was really important to me that it be reflective of our personal style. It just goes to show that just like some small little details and a weekend of effort can yield amazing results.